Hello everyone, I am Ariane, I am Ariane, uh, the developer of Facer Editor today. I want to make a series of videos about a tutorial of making a very basic game. Actually, this tutorial, I, for this tutorial, I will follow another tutorial, one made by the Facer author, uh, Richard Davy here in the Phaser website actually the editor is not part of Phaser the editor is a third party tool and here in the Phaser website we have a uh, learn uh, making your first game tutorial I want to follow this tutorial and make uh, 10 videos because we have here 10 chapters in this tutorial and I want to make a video for each for each chapter uh, but using Phaser Editor 2D. I want to show you how to use, how you can use the editor for making this game. In the first chapter is just an introduction. Uh, here you make the game, just a very basic structure of the game that we are going to make it with Phaser Editor right now. You can get the editor in the website of the Phaser Editor. You get the Alien One version. Uh, the Alien One distribution. You pick your platform here. I just have... Ah, by the way, this is the game. I just have Phaser Editor here. Let me show you the game. This is the game we are going to make. You can download it from the tutorial in the Phaser website. This is basically the game we are going to make. It's a guy jumping in platforms, picking stars. And let me pick the last one. Uh -huh. We get more stars. And if you if you collide with the with a bomb, if this is a bomb, so you lost. Game over. That's the game. So let's make the project with Phaser Editor. I have it here. New project. I, I'm going to make this with, with Webpack and JavaScript. I know many of you are not familiar with these with this frameworks, with JavaScript and Webpack, but I think it is the best option and you can learn in the way. Um, Phaser Editor generates everything for you, all configurations, so you don't have to start writing Webpack configurations and TypeScript projects and things like that. So let's uh, Phaser Tutorial Game. This is the new folder where the editor generates the projects. So this is the project here. We have the SN Phaser Edit generates a level SN and a preload SN. So uh, we are going to make a lot of things with the editor, but for coding the game, we prefer to use Visual Studio Code. Uh, for coding the game and uh, for running the commands is the best option is Visual Studio Code. So you will be using Phaser Editor 2D and Visual Studio Code for writing the logic of the game. With the editor, you create the objects, create the sense, you create some animations, but with Visual Studio Code, you write the logic of the game. And let's open here the terminal and install all dependencies. Uh, when you create a project with Webpack, you can install Phaser as a node module, and you can install. You have to install Webpack as a developer node module. 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 My English is installing here. It takes some time for installing it. Let's see here. Here is the TypeScript configuration, here the Webpack configuration, the Phaser Editor configuration, for example, to skip the dist folder where the game is generated later. 
we can we are going to talk about everything here later in the other tutorials so let's update everything for getting the latest version of phaser here we see the index is the main the entry point of your game is pretty sim similar to what we have here but you don't have to write that because phaser editor generates that for you um, for running the game we, let's write this command it opens the it runs the webpack it runs the webpack development server it's very good for running that locally for example if you make a change here in the sand hello everyone if you make a change here uh, it is updated here in the browser so you have the, you have here the first setup of the game and that's for that's all for all for this video I recorded that several several times I had troubles with the programs for recording but okay I think that's all and see you later like this video follow this channel and write your comments here goodbye